What's the first thing you want to talk about? Talk about when you knew about the situation? I think what I want to talk about is uh, two things related. Because uh, when we say bipolar disorder, I understood after uh, some time that it defines you. It's your personality, you become that uh, illness. So you're not, you can be separated. So I'm going to talk about a bit about myself and then, uh, of course, describing and uh, trying to explain what is bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. And after that, I will uh, talk about the solution uh, I, I found that helped me a lot, uh, a lot and uh, that I'm trying to share with uh, other people at the same time. Mm -hmm. So for people, I would like to tell you that he also works in graphical design. The billboard you saw at the beginning, he was the one that made it. I saw the way the letters, the words were actually coming. It's called kinetic, kinetic typography, animation. kinetic typography animation, and he's the one who did it. Guys, please let's thank. Uh,
but also uh, the, the other part, which is uh, 75%, uh, it's about uh, invisible uh, difficulties and problems that others don't notice, but you are living with every day, every moment, every minute, every second, until you get tired and uh, here it comes another uh, manic and depressive episode and you spent all your life like that. So, uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, studying the psychology as a hobby, of course, because my uh, studies were focused on uh, computer, uh, on uh, uh, multimedia and graphics, I avoided uh, scripts, etc., because it causes stress for me and I can't handle that. Uh, what am I saying? Sorry? What am I saying? You're talking about Sorry. Yes, psychology. Okay. Uh, I will explain what happened now. <laughs> In the brain of a bipolar person, when he is confronted to a stress situation, uh, there is a hyperactivity in the brain. So when you do a brain scan, for a normal uh, person, I don't believe a lot uh, that normal exists because normal is the average. So, uh, what happens in the brain is that, that when you, you make you when you take a brain scan and you see the difference is that there is regions in the brain of a bipolar that are activated without uh, uh, outside the uh, stimulation. So, like things in your brain starting to, to work without uh, yes. <laughs> that's it <laughs> so uh, what was psychology. yes psychology <laughs> okay so uh, psychology helped me to understand the behavior of people uh, to try uh, to compare my own behavior with others so the first book I, uh, I was reading is uh, Feminine uh, psychology, and I discovered a lot of strange things. So, after that. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah, a lot of mood swings. Uh, okay, so psychology helped me to understand a lot of things like uh, human behavior and uh, also the way we can face different situations. Uh, and. Thanks to that, I developed some methods that helped me to handle my mental illness in a way uh, to keep studying and keep working at the same time, uh, doing very interesting activities like sports, martial arts, I'm a black belt. So, uh, <laughs> uh, developing those uh, methods pushed me to understand that to be alive you need to find people that makes you feel you are someone and you need respect and uh, that you have your place in this world because I think deep in my thoughts that there is a place for everyone. When I experienced the deep depression, like going down in a dark tunnel, feeling the pain in your thoughts and also in your muscles, because there is a physical and mental uh, pain, and it's really hard to handle it, uh, at the end you start thinking about uh, how to end all the suffer. you start thinking about death, a lot of bipolar people. Uh, celebrities also, for instance, commit suicide because it's not about uh, having faith but because they were very desperate and no one knew how to help them so they just ended with their lives while others are laughing or just watching their movies saying that uh, their works also saying that Van Gogh is a talented painter, but he spent all his life in suffer and the creativity he's bringing to life so that we can see his works today and say, wow, it's unbelievable, it's something coming out of the box. Behind that there is a lot of suffer 
he ended with shooting his head with a gun, he cut his ear, etc., etc. Anyway, uh, the description of bipolar disorder, you can find it on the internet because uh, I believe that I would not have the time to explain everything. I just ask you to uh, be aware that there is people in this world suffering, uh, surrounded by you, they are everywhere. Bipolar disorder touches between 1 and 3% of the uh, mondial uh, population. So, uh, just consider that uh, if someone changes, if someone behaves weirdly, it's not because it is bad, but because there is a reason behind that. Uh, I'm coming to the last part of my speech to say that when there is a will, there is a way. And I learned from my modest experience that uh, I can't I can't just let it down, I can't just uh, uh, disappear, I, I can't stop fighting. I will always fight uh, and uh, we found a solution. A solution, a miraculous, uh, miraculous? Miraculous? Miraculous solution, okay, thank you. Uh, so, I met, I met uh, a special woman that I love very much and I respect very much. Uh, she is married, please. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she helped me a lot to believe again in my life, to believe that there is a hope and together we joined other special peoples uh, and we come up with an idea we can see here some of our meetings and group therapy. I'm going to talk about it. The idea was the Tunisian Association of Bipolar Disorder. So together, we started doing an interesting thing that were absent in Tunisia, which is also weird because psychiatrists and uh, all the medical staff didn't take the risk to do that because they were thinking, I guess, that handling people with mental illness is something tricky. So we took the initiative to, to do that. We understood what is the concept of group therapy. And basically, it's about uh, sharing. It's about uh, expressing your deep fear, your deep uh, pain, your deep suffer. Uh, try to see yourself in the uh, other persons. Uh, we build a community that grows up very fast. Uh, last year we were just six persons, today we are 1,080 uh, members in the association. We work in parallel with psychiatrists. We try to go even to homes to understand, to explain, uh, to educate. And today I'm in front of you talking, handling my stress, trying to talk about my profound and deep everyday struggle. I want to thank you all for giving me this chance. And like I said, please consider that there is people in this world that are suffering, they are invisible. But if you are aware enough, you can see them. Thank you.